In today's video, we're going to be quickly changing the water on a 5 gallon tank. We're going to be using a gravel siphon, seen here. It's self start, really easy to use. I promise doing it this way, changing your water this way, is a lot better for your fish and for yourself than draining out all the water and scrubbing everything down. This is going to be way better for your microbiological ecosystems that are growing in there which help break down the waste of the fish and it will also keep your fish a lot healthier and less susceptible to diseases so tools you'll need today you'll need self-start siphon at my walmart they're ten dollars so you can also pick one up from any local pet store they should carry them you'll also need some uh some sort of dechlorinator that you want to treat your fish tank with after you change the water and of course you need a fish tank Okay, so today we are changing the water on my betta fish tank. Something you may notice about this tank is that it does have a yellowish tint to it. This is because of the driftwood. You can see right over here. It's been leaching natural dyes into the water. This is nothing to be concerned about. It just looks very unsightly, so that's one of the reasons why I'm changing the water. As you can see, also I have live plants in here so I'm going to be careful to try not to disturb those too much. I have turned off the filters and I'm going to turn off the aquarium light. Okay, so the light is gone. Now I'm just gonna take the lid off. As you saw in the earlier part of this episode, we are using a self-start siphon. It's just a cheap one from Walmart. You wanna make sure when you use this thing you have a backup bucket. Fortunately, I do. The exact tank, I know it's hard to see because I have the camera zoomed in on this tank, but it's the exact same tank. To get the self-siphon started, we're going to completely, just completely submerge this baby. My beta fish is wondering what's going on in here. Basically, want to submerge it, make it easy to see, and then once this thing is filled, completely filled with water to the point where it'll stay filled even after you lift it above the tank like this. You just move it up and down. It'll make this clicking noise. That's, that's just the air or something being pumped through. Okay, the siphon has been started. I know it's hard to see. I don't know if you can s yes, you can see that the siphon is lifting up the gravel. It's moving it a little bit, but mostly it's just sucking the, s the garbage out of the substrate. So as I move it down, I'm going to, as I move through the tank, I'm just gonna kind of spot clean where I see the most fish and snail waste. I am going to be disturbing my substrate a little bit just to, again, just to spot clean. See a little bit of, there's a little bit of algae building up. We're gonna siphon that up. Anyways, we're about the, at the halfway point of the tank. I don't really wanna siphon it any more than this. In fact, now that I think about it, this was probably a bit too much water to take out. But as you can see, it's at the, halfway point in the tank this is a 50% water change um, you generally want to keep it at 10% to 25% I'm doing 50% because of the coloration in the water I'm trying to get this to be removed as you can see now we have this tank Come, just filled up with all that disgusting water so you can dump it down your sink or down the bathtub, or you can save it, uh, use it for plant water because this is filled with natural nutrients that are going to be great for your plants. You can just dump it in your garden right away if that's available. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill it back up. Okay, so we filled the tank back up. As you can see, it's still kind of, it's still got that brown coloration to it, but that's definitely going to help significantly. Easy. Easily, bleh. now the water is easily treated. It's really kind of dirty right now because of all the stuff that the gravel, the uh, the vacuum kicked up. But as that stuff settles down, 
it's gonna look really good. If you've made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it guys. I hope I helped you out and I hope that your fish live long and prosper. Make sure to like and comment below on what kind of fish you want because I'm interested in that. And if you have any questions, I'll help you out the best I can. Anyways, that's going to be all for today. Thank you for joining in. See ya.